I'm good. My name is Mira Jibade. I'm an actor. I'm a model. You know, those are the hustle I do for now. Officially, Tinsel was like my first. Apparently, I never knew I was going to um, act. You know, but modeling eventually got me into acting. And at the end of the day, I found out that they all fall under the same umbrella. You know, so Tinsel was the first, and after then, boom, 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 I started doing stuff. Modeling for me professionally was from 2005, professionally. But before then, um, which was actually when I discovered my passion for modeling, was at some Mr. Campus, because I grew up in Benue State, you know, so I had this clique of friends where we were given courses we never liked. So we were like, we'll never go to class, we'll never do any of the assessment tests, we'll just come to the exam hall and we'll try to make sure that we won't have a carryover on that course. You know, so we just read like two or three days before the exam. Cram everything inside the head, hold the head like that. You know, go and write your exam. You know, I will still pass. So um, we just wanted to prove a point that yes, we would pass, but we don't like what you give us. So we're never in class. I never knew my classmates up until final year, second semester. Yes, you know, so um, my fellow friends, I need to represent, like for us, we're like, okay, we don't catch Akada level, that's academic stuff. You know, so more enter entertainment. Now have fun, our guy. Wait to the worry. Now go represent us for Mr. Campus. Now so that we go there everywhere. I'm like me on that stage. Oh no, you know, like that, like that. They try to convince me. You know, they try to pet me. They're telling me that you know, you know what to to show you how much we're interested in you representing us. We'll take care of you from today. You are king. Imagine your friends that you drink with, your friends that you eat with. They start washing my clothes. You know, there's there's something I don't even know about injury time in school. When, no matter how rich you are, there'll just be one time when there'll be no money, you have to manage and do stuff. Injury time, these guys were buying me food from the canteen, my friends. Like, even when I knew they were broke, you know. So I'm like, okay, if this was the only thing I could do to make them happy, let me just give it a shot. And boom! Then, and that's, that's the interesting thing about um, walking on the runway. It's like stage acting. You will know if you're, if you're doing great immediately. It's a spontaneous reaction, you know. So. Again, I was like the only non-indigenous out of the rest of the contestants, and I won. You know, so my friends took me on top of their head. Trust me, we drove to the venue, they took me on their head, and we jogged back to the school. Mr. BSU. Mr. BSU. That's Mr. Benistage University. This would be like uh, 2004. No, 2003-ish. Coming up next on EO Now. Osasi Gudaru. Very soon to be Osasi Ajibade. Yo, watch out the Burning Life TV. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not trying to be biased. I'm not trying to patronize them. Native and Vogue is something. Okay, I'll give you an example. I just got back from New York a few days ago. I came down because of Native and Vogue. Why? Because I always love to be part of. It's just like me saying, like I don't think I can e I can ever turn down something coming from Ebony Life TV. Why? Because it's African. It's original. It's us. It, it's it's like a brand that tells good stories outside the continent. You know, so Native Book is about, it's, 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 let me don't say it's about the best in Nigeria, it is the best in Nigeria, it's the biggest and it's the best, you know, and the very interesting thing about it is, they get to bring models, you know, international models, you know, but I really wish they had platforms like this in the past. Why? Because you have models here that are working on the runway for the very first time. Back in them days, when I was hustling, I needed to do at least 50 runway shows to be part of something like this. You know, as you can see, the, 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 the whole center is international. If you watch this, um, this show on TV, you'll never believe it was done here in Nigeria. You know, so I love uh, um, all the hands that's been on deck. And everyone brought their A-game to the table. You know, so it's really, really nice and I'm proud to be part of it. He's not afraid to speak his mind and he will show you what it's like on the wild side of life. So who will you take home? Will it be the bearded and dreaded handsome model that plays by the rules? Or will you take your chance with the wild card that is Jim Island? 
Um, if I'm trying to answer the question based on the experience I have as a martial artist, Jim Ike is like fourth or fifth dan of the black belt. Me, I'm just entering inside black belts now. <laughs> So where I want to start from? Yeah. First of all, I respect the fact, you know, because it's not easy training. I respect the fact that he's spent that amount of years, the experience. Because trust me, it's not all about strength or size. It's about muscular endurance, flexibility, your reflexes, you know, all of this put together is what it takes. And Jim Ike, of course, has a whole lot more experience than I have. I want to spar with Jim Ike, you know, because it's always good. Um, my sensei, like my coach, he, he says, he always says something. He, he has been doing karate for 40 years. He's taller than me, and trust me, that guy is faster than a cobra. You know, he's someone that I can go to attack him with like a punch or a kick. He will block, give me five, and relax. <laughs> there are times when we'll have the punching bag in class. He'll be like, everybody, come here. Oh yeah, everybody. And trust me, anybody that doesn't punch me the way they're supposed to punch the punching bag, will get a punch from Sensei, and you don't want that to happen. Yeah, you know, so it's all about training, yeah. I remember the very first time when we started, they, they told us the first mission was to kill ourselves. I'm like, kill myself? I don't know why, what was that about? You know, up until I had to understand that, yo, that's like the basic, that's like the foundation of everything, you know. So, I'm all, I won't even want to try it. I just want to spar with him so that I can learn a few, you know, but I thought, yeah. <laughs> Jamai, who's? I am actually engaged to who you think it is. And we're getting married really soon. Osasi Gudaro. Very soon to be Osasi Ajibade. Y'all watch out the Burning Life TV. <laughs>